Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have discussed about the uh, uh, post mapping for uh, creating a employee object. Uh, in this video, we'll discuss about uh, how we can uh, get a single employee record by making a get request. So let's get started. I'll go to the DAO implementation method and uh, let's remove these comments. And again, I'll use the same thing. I'll uh, take the entity manager and I'll call the unwrap method and I'll pass the session class to get the current session. So I'm just going to copy this. And now using this current session, and I'm going to call the get method. Uh, to this get, me get method, we will pass the employee class as a first argument. And the second argument, we will pass the ID. So this will give us the single employee object. So I'm going to call this employee employee object and I'm going to return the employee object and save this and I'm going to stop this again and go to the service implementation I'm going to remove these comments and I'll make use of this employee DAO and I'm going to call the get method and I'm going to pass the ID and I'm going to return this back to controller save this and I'll go to the controller and I'm going to write a method public I'm going to make some space public and this will return an employee object I'm going to call this get and I'm going to annotate this with a get mapping and the URL should be slash employee slash with the curly braces I'll pass the ID which is nothing but a path and this is called as path variable so if the user uh, will make a get request for slash employee slash ID then this method will be executed and uh, we are going to accept the ID for this we will use a at path variable int ID inside this I'll make use of the employee service dot get and to this we will pass the ID this will give us the single employee object and I'm going to return it and save this start the application so I'm going to click on this button which is run, run the application you can see that the application has been started I'll go to the postman slash API slash employee uh, let's give the ID which is two uh, because in the database you can see that we have a two records one is Bhushan second is Bharat and uh, when we uh, make a get request and it should return the Bharat Okay, I'm going to change this to get and I'll uh, remove this. Okay, fine. And when I click the send button, you can see that it's returning the second record. Okay, let's change this to one. It should uh, return the first object, which is Bhushan. When I click the send button, you can see that the employee object, which is having a name Bhushan. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we are making a delete request for uh, deleting a record. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.